In this video, we get to do the planning for the GRE, the Generic Route Encapsulation Tunnel that we want to build between Site 1 and Site 2. Let's go to the whiteboard and let's put a plan together. And here we go. So for our tunnels, our GRE tunnels, let's plan on using for both sites. Let's go ahead and use tunnel interface number 0. And for the tunnel itself, we're going to go ahead and start the tunnel from this reachable address of 15.1.1.1 to 25.2.2.2. So I will go ahead and put little arrows there. I'll say those are the IPs for the start and end of the tunnel. And for the actual network address on the tunnel interfaces, let's go ahead and use 10 dot, and it's routers one and two, so let's use 10.12.12.0. With a 24-bit mask, and on our one, we'll call it dot one, and on our two, we'll call it dot two. And then one last thing what we definitely want to do is we want to make sure that Right now, R1 has a default route that goes that way. R2 has a default route that goes that way. If we get a packet sourced from 10.1 PC1 that's going to 10.2, we want the router to use the tunnel interface and not its default route. So to accomplish that, let's go ahead and add EIGRP and we'll use autonomous system one and let's only include the 10 networks. So in our network statement, we'll say 10.0.0.0 with a wildcard mask saying we only care about matching on the first octet of 10. And so that 10 will do a couple things for us. One, it'll include these networks over here at site one and site two. It'll also include the interface, the GRE tunnel interface that starts with 10. So we wanna have that enabled so that they'll be able to talk with each other. Now we don't wanna cause recursive routing where R1 thinks that to get to the other end of the tunnel, it's used the tunnel itself, that's a problem. So I'm not gonna include any of the public address space here in my EIGRP, it's just the private address space on the inside of each site and also on the tunnel interface. And I think that's all we need to do. So with that plan in place, our next step is to configure it. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video. We'll configure the GRE tunnels, the routing protocol EIGRP, and we'll verify that it works. I'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.